Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I want to show you how to make a granny stripe blanket. This is the granny stitch, and I am working in rows. I am not finished with this yet, but was so excited to show you how to do this. It's an easy repeating pattern, so once you get started, you can make it as big as you'd like. I am using Red Heart Super Saver Stripes yarn. I absolutely adore this color. Uh, it is called Retro Stripe. Super fun for the summer, bright, cheery, colorful. So what we're gonna do is you are going to take a size, I don't know if you guys can see this, size G hook. I don't think you can see that on camera, but that's okay. Um, and we are gonna start by, oh, I'm over here, chaining 102. I already uh, ch made my chain, uh, so we didn't have to go through that on camera, but chain 102. And then in the sixth chain from your hook, you are gonna make three double crochets. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Here's my sixth chain. I'm gonna go ahead and make one, two, three double crochets. Okay, then we're gonna skip two and make three double crochets in the next. Okay, so this is actually gonna count as your first double crochet, this, this first three chains. And then you had one, two, skip two, okay? made your uh, three double crochets and then we skipped two, made our three double crochets. Now we're gonna skip two again, make three double crochets. Okay, skip two, make three double crochets. Alright, and it's looking great. You are going to continue this, skip two, three double crochets in the next, all the way down your chain until you have uh, three chains left, and then uh, I'm going to show you what to do. So I'll meet you down here. Okay, so we are at the end of our chain row, and I have three chains left. So this is how it should look so far. You've made three double crochets um, all the way down, uh, skipping two chains in between. All right, we're at the end. We are gonna skip two, and all we're gonna do is make a double crochet in your last chain, okay? We're gonna chain three. Don't. Um, I kind of recommend doing it a little bit loose, loosely because uh, you're gonna have to go back into that stitch. Turn, okay? So here's my first space. So we're gonna go ahead and make three double crochets in all of our spaces. One, two, three, okay? You can see where your spaces are because that's where those chain twos are, all right, all the way down. Just make uh, three double crochets. Okay. Keep going. Okay, just like that. All the way down. And I'm gonna meet you here at the end. All right, so here we are at the end of our second row. And as you can see, it's already looking so nice and colorful. All right, so let's take a look at this. So this was our, um, those five chains that we skipped. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and make, since this is a space, we are going to make our three double crochets Okay, and then we are going to make a double crochet right at the, basically right here at the, um, remember how I said the chain 
the chain three part of this is counts as our first double crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and just go into that top stitch. One, that, make our double crochet. Chain three, and turn, okay? Now, let's take a look at this, all right? There's no space here, all right? So we're just going to reach our hook into that first space and make three double crochets. Okay. All right. We're going to work back into this. But that's what it's going to look like for now. All right. And then you're just going to continue all the way down, working in these spaces. All right. And I just as before, I will meet you at the end. Okay, we're getting to the end of our uh, third row here. So you should have been making three double crochets in each of those space spaces, just like that. Okay, so it looks like I have one space left. Make my three double crochets. Okay, now I'm at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna skip over that. I'm just gonna make a double crochet right here um, in that, was it a chain or a double crochet from before? I think, I think that was my chain. <laughs> okay, so um, right at the end there, I'm just gonna reach over and make that double crochet, just like that. Okay, look, it gives you a space. You're gonna turn, well, you can chain three, turn, and then make three double crochets in that space. See the difference between, um, so uh, was it this one? No, oh, maybe it was on the other end. Like when we turned, we didn't have a space, but this time we do. So you're gonna make three double crochets, starting here on our fourth row. Okay, all the way down. See how nice that edge is looking too? Okay, so keep going. I'll do a little more with you guys so we can get the hang of it. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. We've done this before. All right, so here we are at the end of our fourth row. I am just gonna go ahead and uh, finish this row with you guys. So we have three double crochets in that space. Okay, and now I'm coming over here um, to this kind of funky end space. Don't let these confuse you. So it's a space, right? So we make our three double crochets. We did this one before, okay? And we need to finish here with a uh, double crochet um, in the top of that chain three. That's why you should do it. Try and make your chains a little bit loose so you can actually get your hook in there when you get to it. And make a double crochet, okay? Chain three, then you're gonna turn, okay? Makes a nice edge. So we don't have a space here, okay? So you're gonna reach all the way over and you're gonna start working in that first space. Just look for those spaces, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like and you're gonna come back, we're gonna do, it's gonna finish off nicely just like we did here with your three double crochets and uh, one double crochet in that chain um, when we get all the way back around to this part. All right, I think you guys can do it. I have faith in you guys. Uh, written pattern on repeatcrafterme.com.